Hi guys, it's Michi. How are you? Um, I wanted to share a new project I, I finished last night. And this is um, an inspiration I got from Bona. Unfortunately, she doesn't do videos on YouTube anymore. And I'm sad that I never got a chance to swap with her. But um, her and Arlene both really inspire me. They craft like I do um, as far as grunge and vintage and handmade things. I just, I just love that. So um, let me go ahead and get started. Um, what I did was I made a hanging frame at a chipboard and again I got totally inspired from Bona um, her frame is in my favorite so check it out um, she did it a while back but I was looking through her channel and like I said I want to do something different so I have a craft fair I'm doing on Sunday and I just wanted to play around and see what kind of little tchotchke things I can do so this is what I came up with the paper inside here is from the Creative Memories Reminisce collection. I'm completely in love with it. It's just gorgeous. So um, from this paper inspired me with the colors and I used, um, let's see, Vintage Photo and um, Dusty Concord for the chipboard. And then I also uh, glimmer misted it with the gold glimmer mist. And then this girl, um, she came from this stamp set from Hampton Arts. I've had it a while and it's it's been abused or used a lot I should say. Um, let me take it out so you can see. It's Clear, Clear Expressions Hampton Art and um, it comes with a purse, the woman, and then a body form, a glove, a shoe, and some measuring tape and buttons. And then the other things are, one must wait until evening to know how splendid the day was. And um, I actually made a tag for Rose um, with this stamp here. And then it says that the shoe fits, buy the matching purse. <laughs> and then these two sayings here that I put on my uh, frame, it says, uh, fashion is something that you buy, style is something that you own. And um, I actually also made a tag for Belinda Acres with these two but um, the flowers I made with the tattered florals Tim Holtz dye and I spray uh, glimmer misted them with the uh, pumpkin pie the gold and the perfect peach and I'm really happy how it turned out and um, <clears throat> for this flower I used just a purple piece and and sprayed them and distressed them with also the vintage photo and in the center the little rosettes I use these and I think I got these from I am roses um, I've had them for a while so I don't remember but uh, I put this on the center and then I also use the um, the mulberry paper leaves from recollections I got them at Michaels and these were cheap I think I paid like three dollars for these I'm not really sure but I love them they're very similar to the Primo ones so um, check them out and then um, I believe this is Prima Rose on, or Prima Rose, a Prima Ribbon on the bottom. And then I just put a couple of eyelets and then a long um, ribbon on top and that way it can be adjusted to how long or short um, to be hung. And then the eyelets are uh, little flowers, I don't know if you can see that. but uh, And I also put the petals through um, my Big Kick and I use the Swiss Dots too. So. Um, I hope you like that. Um, this is very simple, but uh, I, I really love the vintage and the grunge, so um, check out Bona's um, little tutorial that she did on her hanging frame. And uh, thanks, Bona, for inspiration, inspirating me because uh, you just do beautiful work. So, All right, and also I have... Um, a giveaway coming up soon. I have my 100 su subscribers and uh, I think I'm only a few people short of the subs but I'm sure hopefully um, they'll come around and uh, I'm gonna give something away. I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet. I don't know if it's something I'm going to make or um, some stamps or something. Not sure so stay tuned for that. I don't know if I'm gonna post it today, tomorrow or Monday. Um, you'll have to check back and see. It depends on my time so Anywho, thanks to you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.